Raul Juma, nothing comes easy, and uh, pageant made you guys fight to the end. But overall, you start 2018 with a with a win. But how does this? How does? How do you expect this to carry you through for the remainder of the season? Yeah, first I want to say, um, my hat goes off to pageant. Um, um, they really um, um should have gave a classy um performance. You know what I mean? But um, um we want to do more than them. Um, um, we understand what it takes to um beat pageant. Um, um and um we showed that today. I'm a very proud of my boys today. Um, they they. They understood the game plan and they executed. You know. Now, a big field. You guys spread it out early. You could see that that Paget was running a bit out of steam, but they, they got hearts and they and they kept fighting. They kept fighting. What were some of the tactical changes you decided to make at halftime to in, to enforce what you wanted to do? I think um, um, I just instilled that um, um, possession was a, a big component of today. Um, um, we understand it was a big field. We had needed to make the field big and and and, and dominate possession. Um, um, in, in turn, um, they were tired and they would make mistakes, and we understood that, and we was patient with that. I would have liked to see my team make a little bit more, be a little bit more patient in the last start of the field, but um, 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 that's a process, you know. The young team they made a lot of progress. My head skills off to them. Um, they gave me everything I wanted as a coach from the beginning, from day one. They are committed, you know, and and this validates that hard work does pay off. You know what I mean? If players are willing to be honest, we can be successful. Well, congratulations and all the best remaining the season. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that.
Another trophy. You start 2018 off the way you, I guess, you wanted it. Yeah. But, but let's talk a little bit about the game itself. Spacious field. You got a chance to spread North Village wide. Mm -hmm. um, you guys seem to dictate at times, but they also had their opportunities. Right. Overall, what was the performance like for for PHC? Oh, much, much, much better today. Um, we love playing on bigger fields, obviously, because we have the players to do that. Um, that's our style of play um, that we will always bring to any team. It's up to them to nullify us, but we was looking out for that too. But I just love the occasion. Um, the players gave everything they had out on the pitch. You can see that, the belief that they have in them. Um, the trust is just all throughout, you know, um, with the trust from me, the trust from them, um, and the club. The support that the club gives us just makes it much easier to go out and, and perform. Do you feel added pressure now you've collected, what is trophy number three for the season? Yeah. Do you feel the added pressure to, to finish it off, picking up the last two? No, um, our motto is always the next match. So um, we never think about um, in the past because that can hinder your future. So it's important to just focus on what's coming next and um, keep a level head and stay humble. How are the injuries and everything? Because you guys played a lot of football over this period and you, and you want to turn right back into the league. So how is everyone feeling going through that? Yeah, it's, it's good. Um, was there any just today, um, um, Kadeem Abraham um, got an unfortunate injury. Um, we'll get him looked at, but we have plenty of replacements. Um, the players work hard. Some of the college students are back, um, so they'll still fit in. As you saw, Tristan Hall came on today and done an extreme good job for the team. What about Marco Warren? A special youngster, um, took that, that first goal very well, but overall he's been somewhat of a standout with others, but a standout for PHC this season thus far. I'm just glad he's on PHC's team, that's all I can say, um, because I, I, I don't know what type of defense you can put up against him, um, but he's just so intelligent, he's so phenomenal, um, but again, with the support that he has around him and allowing him to have freedom to express himself, and then we just work on supporting him from there. All right, well, all the best in 2018. Yeah, thank you, Earl. Appreciate it.